Hello people, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are here yet again. Back. Yes. We look at that. Look at this. What is <laughs> going the on? Music. <laughs> and that's the new intro. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, people. We are back, back in the yes. podcast room as well. Indeed, it's been a while. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it feels new, a bit new, a bit new. First, first official pod of the year. Yes, well. indeed. Happy New Year Happy to New everybody year again, once again. The year twenty twenty plus two. Yep, that's the one. That's the one. Uh, again, <laughs> it feels like twenty twenty plus two years. That's actually before. what it feels like. That's Definitely, actually what it feels 100%. like. This feels like the second half of twenty twenty. Mm. It's mad. So where do you start? <laughs> where do we start? Because there's so much stuff. <laughs> that has happened. There's so much stuff to unpack. But since we're talking about 2020, 2022, there's only one place to start. <laughs> Corona, we obviously know yes, that. Yeah, there was a yeah, mad yeah, pandemic yeah, and yeah, yeah. it was a serious time. Uh-huh. Throw back to, what, two years ago. Yeah. This time two years ago, I mean, it was still early, but mm-hmm. it's come to March. Indeed. It was peak. Literally. Come to May. Yeah. It was peak. Very we were in lockdown. Lockdown. We were told down. to stay in our home, stay home. Don't interact with anybody. If your friends say come out, say no. If your friends say come out, say no. <laughs> if your girlfriend wants to see you, tell her no. Oh god. Can't see me today. Yeah. We'll speak on the phone. Don't speak on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Just stay in your house. Yeah. And this was the prime minister of the country that was telling mm-hmm. us this. All, 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 who, while he was saying that, he was also saying that a lot of people are gonna die. All of this kind of stuff and all. Of, he was saying a lot, a mad, a lot of stuff in it. It comes out two years later that whilst all of this was going on, whilst people were worried at home, people were actually dying and stuff like that, these men were having a party. Yeah. A full-on party. <laughs> Not Thomas' party. A party. <laughs> Red card. A party. Have you seen the video as well? I've seen the video. Please tell me you've well, seen the video. Well, the, the one... actual party video. Yes. I haven't yet. Because you know what, yeah? So it came out first year that they had like a outdoor party or something like that, and yeah. then he was saying something like, um, "What was he saying?" He said it was a work event or uh-huh. something like that. that. I didn't know. Cool. So he said that, and then a further image came out. Vigil came out, yeah, and he's dancing, and he's even grabbing a wine, and even the lady that he's grinding. Oh, that that video. Yeah, had the lightsaber. Wait, there's so many things that I was just like, "What is going on? Why is there a lightsaber? Why? What's going on in this whole thing?" I thought that was one of the you know he's done a lot of stupid things like in his in his in his politi- pol- political career. These men I were partying. That was they from twenty twenty. Partying. They were partying. They were actually having fun. And he was dancing like this. <laughs> he was dancing like this. He was dancing like this. Someone's uncle. That is someone's uncle. That is someone's uncle. I've come to realize that. Oh my dear. Boris Johnson is a tyrant. He is a tyrant, and because. He just moves like a clown. We don't take him seriously. <laughs> but this guy's a tyrant. <laughs> he needs to be stopped. Bojo needs to be stopped. Oh, my days. Oh, man. I, I feel like we didn't even do the reaction video. We, so actually, we, we actually should. There's even an interview that I yeah. saw from the Independence YouTube page where there's this woman that's grilling him. Asking him the tough questions, yeah. Saying, you know, what you've done is silly, and it's just, f- it, it honestly, maybe we'll, we'll do, we'll do, we'll excuse it, but because fam, um, that guy this guy needs something. to be brought to justice. We need to bring in tribunal, everything. <laughs> Listen, Boris versus the people. Well, we need some, to have this. Some people in his party don't want him there, innit? A lot of people don't. A lot of people don't right. want him there anymore because, like, he, he, he's he's an emba- he's <laughs> embarrassing, fam. He's embarrassing. Uh, and obviously now he's come out to come and say that yeah that they're gonna remove all the restrictions and all that kind of stuff because obviously he has to now because like, <laughs> I don't have a choice. Like, <laughs> you have no choice. Yeah, they have no choice. I'm a bit annoyed because I just wanted two weeks, just two weeks. <laughs> I'm not getting that two weeks. So <laughs> it is what it is, man. <laughs> is it what from next week Thursday? Is it the 28th yes. or something? Yeah, something like that. Um, no, more ooh, no more restrictions. No nothing. Like, so wow. Is that be the first time since? 
Pretty much, I feel like, Man, yeah, like, pretty no, much the no, first no time, no restriction of any kind. They're gonna, add no social distance, no, nothing, yeah. They're gonna put it back anyway, it's not gonna do, I don't think. I don't even feel like they're even gonna do it anymore. I feel like now their plot is to try and get herd immunity, so people just to be, mm. everyone at this point, I feel like maybe what, six out of ten people have had yeah, yeah, yeah. one of the good forms yeah, of COVID, yeah, yeah, one yeah, of the. Yeah. Um, just strains. Omicron feels like everybody had Omicron like at some point. So yeah, I feel like now they just want everyone to be infected and then you just build natural immunity to it. Mm. Yeah, man. Facts. <laughs> I got news. Personal news. I got okay. my first. I succumbed last week. <laughs> I thought it. I okay. Cheers. How you feeling? Are you connecting? Let's, 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 let's <laughs> put the battery on your arm. Let's see. <laughs> let's see whether it sticks. Maybe you can charge the battery. You know? <laughs> oh, man. A lot of silly stuff, lad. <laughs> nah, it was, it was interesting. It was, uh... So I just turned up at the local health centre. Yeah. Uh, I sat down. Mm. Uh, some people have to queue, but I sat down. Okay. Um, the woman asked me uh, if I had COVID last week or whatever. I said no. Yeah. Um... She asked, you on the left arm, right arm? Are oh, you right hand, left hand? Did I said right hand? So she did the left. Um, <laughs> yeah, my my arm was just sore, like for just like a day or two. That's it. And that was pretty much it. So so far, so, <laughs> so, so far, far, so good. Yeah, let us know when you get your power. <laughs> Maybe you start shooting webs like Spider Man. He knows. My I'm finished. <laughs> like Corona has been a very yeah. interesting period, Indeed. man. But uh, some people have had bad reactions. Bad. Some people have. Some people have. Really bad. Some people have had some very bad, uh, bad reactions. Really bad. So, so yeah, yeah, I thought I'd be the last, last on the list. But, but hey, uh, listen, for me, months. I'm coming soon because I need to fly out. I need to get out of this country. I need to get out of this country, yeah. and I'll tell you why I need to get out of this country. You know? Because I don't know whether it was an article or I heard it on the news. Last week, I saw that the cost of living in this UK, or I don't know whether it was London specifically, is going up by 20%. 20%, that's what they're saying. 20%. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? That means, yeah, that we are all going broke. <laughs> we are all yeah. going to go broke. Because we are not earning more. Our wages or salaries are not going up. But the cost of living is going up. And yeah. I can even see that. Even my local boss, man, four wings... One wing is 50p. One wing for 50p. I used to get four wings for a pound. Bro, I'm telling that was you. four wings for £2.20. Three it's wings and me. chips for one pound. Do you know coin. what I mean? Do you know what? Do you, we used to go Ten to Tennessee. Ten years ago. We used to go to Tennessee and go, get two strip... Wait, what was it? Yeah, strip burger yeah, milk. Yeah, yeah, two for two. Two yeah. for two. No, two yeah. for two from Sam and strip burger yeah. milk from Tennessee. For two pounds. That same meal now? Oh, Ten Lord. pounds. No, you're joking. It'll probably be ten pounds. Oh, yeah, yeah. They've closed Tennessee. Rest <laughs> in peace. <laughs> Rest in peace, man. No, man, it's 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 unbelievable, man. Even Fredo, how much is Fredo now? Fam, I feel like Fredo, Fredo is. I don't even know how much it is. Like, <laughs> I think it's forty p. I, I just it's... know that it's pricey. It's pricey. It's pricey. Oh, shit, it's so mad, and I'm coming to the point where I'm thinking. Do I even live in this country anymore? <laughs> what I don't, I don't know if I should live in this country anymore. No. There's no perks. I finished studying, yeah. all that kind of stuff. The yeah. only thing, actually, there's there's really nothing that's really tying me to this country right now. At mm. this point, there's actually nothing. Mm-hmm. I hear that. UK, you guys better be careful. Mm-hmm. Be careful. Yeah. If Nigeria win Afcon, I'm out. That's <laughs> <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh man, who's the guy playing next one? Um, I haven't even seen. I actually haven't even seen. I actually haven't even seen. But that would have probably come out by today. But have you have you tuned into any of these? Afro oh matches? my gosh, that Cerulean, the Cerulean game. Oh my oh, days! I was watching it with gosh. one of my friends' uncles or whatever. Yeah. Oh, that game! I don't know if it was fixed. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to do the black magic. I don't, I don't know, bro. No, because I just saw the wool in the hands. I did the wool, not in the hands. And did you watch the whole just, game? I didn't watch the whole game. Okay, but did you see the goals? Game. I saw the goals. I saw the goals. <laughs> did you see when the keeper jumped to the left? Fam, that's what I don't know. I don't know what was going on. I don't what, know the what the hell, they, bro? I don't know what they put something in your face or what went down because, listen. <laughs> you made a great save and then he jumped to the side I the next time. I don't know. What I what? don't understand. 
I don't understand. The last it's kick of the game. I was watching it live. The last kick. Is the it? goalkeeper grabs it. You saw it, innit? The goalkeeper grabs the it. And then, and then he threw it. it. And and then I don't get it. I don't get what happened. He started crying. He came up on a stretcher. And, and then they were saying that there was something wrong with the pitch or something. I don't know. I don't. Under, I don't understand what what could have happened. <laughs> he was completely fine. Maybe he just bugged out. Like I don't know. Maybe just. I what kind of glitch know. was that? I don't know what kind of glitch that is. I don't oh know Lord. What happened to him? Oh. But I've got this. I've got has given us a lot of moments, yeah. man. <laughs> Refs blowing before before full time. Before. And do you know what was even funny about that specific case is that he blew that eighty fifth at the eighty fifth minute, yeah, <laughs> and then they came back, and then he also blew that eighty nine. <laughs> What's going on? And then they went, and then he wanted to say, "No, get them yeah, to, come to, come to come back." And, and they didn't even want to come and back. They didn't want to come back because what, what yeah, 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 exactly. No, nah, that that was. I've a seen picture. players get red cards after the match. Yeah, did you see the Ghana? Um, yeah, the Ghana they swung. He the banged the guy. Somebody. And the ref said, he's not guy. leaving this picture to that guy. He said, call him back, call him back. I'll give him a red card. Because the player went to go on. Is he? Had in the change room. He said, I'm not nice. leaving this bitch. <laughs> but yeah. Wow. Shout out to Afcon. What an amazing competition. What an amazing competition, for real. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, gosh. It's actually it's so funny. It's an amazing competition. It's an amazing competition. Oh my days. I feel like, yeah, man, the way this year is just starting off, there's a lot of people having I know, a lot of howlers. Like, everyone just be careful, protect yourself, because a lot of people are just doing some, oh some my bad days. stuff. Like. It's, it's, it's actually incredible. It's, it's, it's different. It's different, man. Oh, man. It's, it's, it's interesting. Did you hear but, about the um, the Drake thing, the hot, the hot sauce? What's this one? Oh, you didn't hear it. So no. apparently... It was reported that um, after Drake um, has his flings, yeah, he puts uh, hot sauce in his in the in the in the condom. Uh? Apparently, yeah. Uh? And then the <laughs> one woman is trying to sue him now because she tried to inseminate herself with the thing. It's it, bro. This this life is. I I'm just done with it. <laughs> I'll Wait. show you the link after. It's real. It's real, man. Okay. Where do you even start? <laughs> Stupid. I, 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 just want, you. I just want to jump. Because, yeah. wait, first, yeah. Drake! <laughs> <laughs> because, wait, why is it even hot sauce? Why is that the first thing you're even thinking of? Bleach, go to the toilet, go get bleach, even put toothpaste, put something. Why do you use hot sauce? Hot sauce? Drake? So what? I'm guessing he feels like that would just kill the sperm or whatever. Probably. I don't know what science. I, I, I don't, don't know, know what the science. science Maybe, yeah, Prof Drake, let us know. <laughs> but then also, what kind of madness is this? Yeah, where a woman feels like what? 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 She feels like she has the right to yeah. Drake's baby and therefore yeah. his money. Yeah. Yeah. What? Ca- Who's raising these people? That's all the that's the only question I can ask. It's just like how do you forget her name, man? The one that even went to Dion Sanders uh, football. Oh yeah. Um oh I forgot her name, man. I've forgotten her name. And yeah, DJ Washington and what's her name? Um oh how's her name? Brittany Renner. Brittany Renner. I even seen the she was on academics with Fresh and Fit. The only he only put out a clip, he hasn't put out the full thing, but I I wanna see what the rap is there because (laughs) there's like two different Opposite ends of the spectrum, but fresh and fraud. fresh and f- fresh and, fraud. and fraud. yeah, man, fraud. fresh and fraud. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because, this year's actually started crazy. Wow, started wow, crazy, wow, man. interesting. A lot interesting. of howlers from a lot of people. Yeah. yeah, I still can't get my head around like these these late. I don't understand how you can sacrifice your morality just for some. Yes, yeah, just for I a know. check. It's for a check, and the reason why I'm so un- like that's that whole thing annoys me so much is that. There's actually a child involved. Yeah, exactly. Like, fair enough, you're just finessing. Mm-hmm. Not even fair enough, but even if you're just finessing a person, whatever means you're finessing, that's that's even you. You're two individuals, but now you're talking about bringing a life into the world. Exactly. Just for yeah. just just so that your pockets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man. Who has to then be be lied to that? Exactly. You know, or you were born in with love and we yeah. love you, whatever. But that was not the you know, fam, boy. Literally, man, and this is this. It has a knock-on effect on society. That's the thing. It has a knock-on effect. People wonder why certain things are so. And, uh-huh. you know, mm-hmm. uh, Boy. It's just what people will do for clout, for money. Um, 
I've come to realize that people Scary, will do anything. Man. They will do anything for clout, for money, fame, anything. They will, they will I, do what you want. I even found out actually recently that um, when they're doing construction on abandoned buildings, yeah, they the reason why they seal it off is because some people might walk in there, mm. injure themselves on purpose, and then claim the money. Oh, you it's knew true. that? It's true. Oh, uh, it's gosh. true. It's true, because, like, even think about, like, there's these, there's, I've seen so many of these videos that where someone, like, a car will be coming or something, and the person, do you know what, sometimes, as much as I hate CCTV in some places, thank God for CCTV as well, in some cases as well, because, fam, do you know if there wasn't CCTV, people would be doing the yeah. most. Mm -hmm. They would just go and slip down on McDonald's and the thing, like, <laughs> even though the sign is there, they would slip on the floor. Exactly. Yeah. They, would, they, would, they would slip down and just say, McDonald's broke my leg. <laughs> so they could get how much? Come on, man. People are real opportunists. That's where it comes down to. People are opportunists. Edge, and, edge. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom of it. Just waiting for moments to just strike. Just waiting for moments to strike. It's like, you know, it's funny they brought up Ed, yeah, because I'm not, I don't. Like, there's two things. You just remind me. I, you know, my the WWE membership is still yeah. there. It's still it's, there. It's You're still, still, still there, paying man. it to this still day. There. It's still there. I swear it's been two years. It's now. been two talking, years. Bro. It's been two years. Now I'm just saying. Let me just wait till what WrestleMania. That's like what March. Yeah, yeah, April. yeah. yeah I'll yeah, just yeah, wait then. One, yeah. Then I'll make sure yeah. I cancel it. I'll just wait till then. We gonna put a reminder, boy. Yeah, put a reminder. I don't understand tense. how it's got. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. WWE. And I don't even watch that anymore. <laughs> WWE. But yeah, what was I gonna say? Um, watching <laughs> WWE. Yeah, because I've been watching a lot. We're well, not watching a lot. I don't know. I, I saw one video. I think it was Undertaker. It went on. Um. um Kevin Hart's um, eyes, bath, whatever that mm -hmm. thing is, yeah. And then, like, I just went down the yeah, spiral yeah. of thing. And all of these wrestlers, yeah, they're all making their own form of content. So, like, Stone Cold has a podcast. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. Undertaker has his own thing as well. Mm -hmm. And it's just so funny to see these guys that were acting like they're a hard yeah, man. Yeah, I know, I know. Now, like, like, normal people, yeah, exactly. I'm like, wait, what? You're Stone Cold, though. Yeah, you're, so, you're Steve Austin. <laughs> you're so Steve man. Austin. Like, mm -hmm. what is going on I here? Know, yeah. Even Undertaker as well. I'm just like... Out of character, not yeah. the dead man, yeah. What's his name? Mark. His name Mark. is Mark. <laughs> Mark. Mark Calloway. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. It's funny, man. Oh, it's man. funny. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> well, let's get into the main. Let's get. Let's get into it. Let's get main, into it because the main topic. Like, do you know what? I'll, I'll just. I'll just introduce it. Yes, yeah. yes. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Molly May. If you don't know, she's an influencer. Mm -hmm. Um, she went on Love Island. I think like maybe 2019 or something like that. 2020. Mm -hmm. She went on there. Um, she happened to be in relationship. Got in relationship with Tommy Fury. Mm -hmm. who was also on the show. Um, and probably I feel like they're one of the I'll give credit to them because they're actually a couple that is still going on still going strong a lot of the people just go there for clout and then after the relationship mm -hmm. just ends in two weeks but yeah they're still going on strong she has now gone on to be I think was it a creative director or creative somebody she's mm -hmm. got a high role in Women Pretty uh, yeah creative director yeah. creative director yeah, yeah. yeah. pretty mm -hmm. pretty little thing mm -hmm. And yeah, so she went on a podcast, I think maybe last week or the week before, and she is a business podcast, so the guy interviews people that are like successful mm. in their respective roles. And she went on there and she made a statement that had the internet and just media and people very split and it caused a lot of reactions. In essence, and I am gonna pull it up, pull up the actual transcript when I when I actually find it, what mm. she actually said, but in essence, she was saying that everyone has 24 hours, mm -hmm. yeah? And you can do in that time, you can do wh whatever you need to do mm -hmm. in that time mm -hmm. for you to be successful. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, she received a lot of backlash because a lot of people took it as um, mm -hmm. um, as, as her not seeing the entitlement that she has coming from a background where uh, her family does have a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. And obviously winning the lottery in in the sense of like going on a show like Love of Island course. and stuff like that, and she, her now being able to now be in the position that she has, obviously down to her followers and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff, and choosing a certain pathway, and a certain pathway, and also <laughs> Tommy Fury as well, mm -hmm. the Fury family, arguably the biggest boxer right now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, 
a lot of people felt like she was not really conscious of struggles that different communities and different, mm-hmm. um, you know, um, sectors or classes of people yeah. go through. Mm-hmm. And she received a lot of backlash, a lot of backlash mm-hmm. about it. I'm actually going to try and find, um, find the actual transcript of what she, what she actually said in, in that, in that, um, in that section. But what, was your, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts or like, what have you seen? What, what kind of reactions have, have you seen? Cause I'm going to get into like my actual view on how I took the statement, which again, might be a bit different, but what's your thoughts on how, on, on the, on the whole scenario? Yeah. You can use this to, okay. Thank you. It, maybe. Um, for me, I think it's, it's quite, <laughs> it's quite interesting in a sense where um someone can make first of all it's i find it a bit ironic from you know the background that you know the background she has where she's come from mm. um the path where she's chosen which is the you know the influencer lifestyle um i'm not gonna go out and say that she's uh selling her body or she's a hoe or whatnot but um there's a certain lifestyle she's the pathway she's chosen to go down, you know, where because of even the pathway she's gone down, she won't be respected if she, for example, wanted to do a career change and, you know, go do something else. I'm not saying, I'm not putting her again in the same category as you mentioned before, for example, like a Britney Renner, um, but there's a certain group, a certain category of people or whatever. So I think that's, that's ironic um, from the, the source that this is coming from. Mm. Um, I guess there's two sides to it because I spoke to some people last week, and someone was well, a few people were saying how, you know, they didn't take offense to it because um, they could honestly look at themselves and see that in my 24 hours I could do more. Yeah. But the problem is, is that what she said was generalized, mm-hmm. and even though you can't please everyone, even if you try and mince your words, some people mm-hmm. might still find something to say. That was a bit ignorant in, you know, how she put it. Because if you grow with experience in life, you actually realize that working hard is not even it. Yeah. Our parents, you know, first first generation, they worked hard. They worked what very the hard, like pain. seriously, they worked hard. you know, and deserve all our respect. But they're not millionaires because of that, you know, in the monetary sense, monetary yeah. you know, kind of sense. So working hard is not it. You know, I can't work hard and be Cristiano Ronaldo. Mm. You know, they... If you have sense... Of course, working hard is one of the foundations, but that's just not it. Then you're just saying that everyone's on the same playing field, which is not the same, which is not the case. Mm. But yeah, at, at least that's what um, my, my take is. That's, that's, that's interesting. That's interesting, yeah. So I found that actually, <laughs> that, with that, that section. And she started off, she said, I just think... You're given one life and it's down to you to... And it's down... I, I've just... Wait, so let me start again. I just think you're given one life and it's down to you what you do with it. You can literally go in any direction. When I've spoken in past, I've been slammed a little bit when people were saying, it's easy for you to say that. You've not grown up in poverty. You've not grown up with a ma- with major money struggles. So for you to sit there and say, we all have the same 24 hours in the day is not correct <sighs> it goes on as well because it says quite a bit but i'll probably maybe I'll, 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 I'll probably save that for a bit later yeah mm-hmm. because <clears throat> for me again there's a lot of there's a lot of different avenues yeah that i feel like we can dissect here yeah mm-hmm. number one yeah is something that i've always said a lot of people take little clips and little sections from things and they form their own narrative about the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Cause like alongside this like whole like kind of clip here yeah, that was going around like socials, there was the, the tagline like, oh, um, what do you call it? Um, if I'm poor, just go and buy a house or something like that. I can't remember what the person <laughs> actually put. And not once did she mention that as no, well. And a lot of people kind too. of that already skewed a lot of people what what she was saying. Yeah. Like a lot of people were thinking like, oh yeah, if you're in this situation, then it's just easy. You just do this and this is how you make it. Very binary kind of way of thinking. But 
I don't feel like that was the case. And I feel like that's that's an issue that we can address. We've spoken about stuff like that as well. But for me, context is everything. I'm not saying watch the whole interview or whatever, because I, I haven't even watched the whole interview myself, but I didn't just watch that little clip. I was like, I need mm-hmm. to see what, I need to see a little bit before, a little bit after, so I can just kind of get my, you know, understanding. The second thing as well is, I feel like one of the major pe- major problems is that people had a problem with who it was coming from. Yes, like, you, like you mentioned, she's an influencer. Yeah. And uh, again, why I'm going to be yeah. taking advice Even if you're saying 100% thing. something has been right, if you yeah. have a certain track record for doing something... It's true. So, again, a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people were judging the statement based yeah. on that as well. Yeah. Now, the actual statement, yeah, I'm going to continue as well, yeah, what she said. So she's like, and I'm like, but technically what I'm saying is correct. We do. So I understand we have different backgrounds and we're raised in different ways and have different financial situations. But if you want something enough, you can achieve it. And it depends to what lengths you want to go to get to where you want to be in the future. She added, I'll, and I'll go to any length. I've worked my absolute ass off to get where I am now. Okay, now, for me, when I first saw the clip at first, I was thinking, mm, this is a bit, 24 hours. Yes, everyone mm, technically has mm, 24 hours, mm-hmm. but again, there's a lot of factors. Mm-hmm. And because the clip was just so short, you yeah. didn't really get the context. But like when you see the other part, and this is where like my kind of opinion changed mm-hmm. from it, because for me, I still believe that you can pick up certain things Despite where it's coming from, even from the most wicked person, you could probably learn. A, you can learn probably maybe mm-hmm. something. It can be small, but you can still learn a little bit. Mm. And for me, I looked at it more from that extent rather yeah. than to criticize the person that it was coming from or criticize the statement itself, because a lot of people are saying she didn't consider those factors. But clearly, here she did say, despite the fact that we have different backgrounds, different financial situations, and stuff like that. Which, again, should she be the person speaking about that when you're coming from a place of affluence and all that kind of stuff? Maybe not. Maybe mm. not. But, again, for me, I took the way... I'll, I'll explain how I took this statement. I took the statement as within your... Whether it's your background, within your class, or within your, you know, your community or whatever, you have 24 hours to get what you need to do. You can get it done. You can mm. get it done. We all have 24 mm-hmm, hours. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people are think were thinking that she's talking about, you know, monetary value and success and all that kind of stuff. But again, I don't feel like that was the sole message that she was trying to say. Yeah. It's okay. like me for me, I took it as okay, if now let's say I wanna I'm trying to think. I wanna okay, I wanna build, let's say I get a, a new bed or something, I'm gonna build this bed. Mm-hmm. You've got your twenty four hours. You can build a bed if you want to build mm-hmm. it in thing. It can yeah. take you a week, yeah. But it can you can do it in twenty four hours mm-hmm. if you apply yourself within your whatever task you want to achieve. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be making a million pounds, yeah. Like she's done or becoming a multi millionaire, mm-hmm. but within your you know your levels of success, mm-hmm. you can achieve it if you do apply yourself a little bit. Yeah. What do you think about that? Um. To that last point you said, I think first I would have to ask you because I didn't see the whole interview or mm. like um too much more in terms of context. But I would have to ask you in the context she was speaking, did she give any? Was there any um? What's the word? If not all, but most of what she was saying coming from that monetary point of view like was it was she speaking in the context of her career you know was she speak because obviously it can be taken that way but in the way she was coming across was she focusing more like on career was she did she mention family as well or was it just you know um the work that we've seen her do you know in the public eye so i didn't watch the whole whole thing it's like two hours long i watched like probably like a, a good decent okay. length of it and again it is basically like a 
business business kind of podcast okay. kind of thing so the guy interviews like successful yeah, yeah. people so again it is primarily kind of focused on how you became successful mm. what kind of um tips and tricks mm. can you kind of impart to other people mm-hmm. to become successful so again obviously she's successful like financially kind of thing so that was kind of the area that mm-hmm. was kind of mostly addressed because again it's the big thing that she's now a multi-millionaire she has this high role at, mm-hmm. at, at the brand as well so that was the area that they kind of focused on the most okay. kind of thing so yeah so should we i mean because obviously no i agree with you that sometimes when you hear it's like even sometimes when you listen to music you know mm. um people can have can take their own thing from it like you know, there are certain, in the genre, let's say, of hip-hop, you know, yeah. there are certain, you know, people you would play music to and they would be very stereotypical and say, you know, oh, this is, this music is aggressive or whatnot. Yeah. But they're not trying to understand the message behind mm. certain, you know, songs or yeah. what the artist is trying to say. Mm. Um, so I definitely agree that people can come to their own interpretation. Yeah. But in terms of where she's coming from, if that's from a business point of view, then personally, obviously, again, like you, I'll look at the bigger picture. But mm. if I'm focusing on where what she means and where she's coming from, I'm assuming then she's talking like monetarily, you know. Mm. Um, and if we if we judge it on that, I think what she said was a bit ignorant. Mm. Um, particularly, you know, if we dissect it more. Even as you were speaking, I was thinking about it. Do you know, like, those um, shows where, let's say Apprentice, yeah? Yeah. Where you have a challenge one week to, um, I don't know, I, I forgot the challenges they even have, bro. Uh, yeah. um, I don't know, start <laughs> business or market or something. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Imagine your team, you have the same, okay, 24 hours, same week, but mm. you have one less member. Or... You don't have a connect or um, a liaison. You have to find your own. Yeah. Or because of the the average age in your group, you know, it's going to be a bit tougher for you mm. than the other groups. Yeah. Or because of, let's say, because of your skin color. Oh, you have, like, statistically, you have the same, same amount, amount of time. time. Yeah. But you're not starting... At, you know, from the, the same, same point. Yeah, you don't have the on same the track field. Yeah, you exactly. That. You know, that's a good example. That's a, <laughs> that's a very good example. That's a good. Hit so to should we uh, then all be? Uh, should we then all the? Uh, should we then all just be judged on the same? It, that wouldn't be fair. That's not fair, right? But at the same time, you said <laughs> that. But at the end of the day, whether that group has a man down, yeah, has more guys and girls or girls and guys, whatever <laughs> you want to look at. They all come back to Lord Sugar and Lord Sugar fires one of them. That's <laughs> that is true. So again, that is very true. ultimately life. Life is I won't say life is the judge. God is the judge, but life yeah. would life will determine how you how you turn out. Yeah, no, no, life no, is yeah, no, no. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. I so again, <laughs> life is not easy. Mm-hmm. Everybody has some kind of struggle to some extent. Yeah. My thing is again. This generation, I'm, 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 I'll say I'm not playing devil's advocate, but I'm just exploring different <laughs> yeah, yeah, avenues, yeah, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, like this generation, I feel like that statement, a statement like this, maybe twenty years ago, would just slip under. If you, if you, if you found offense with it, then it was an offense, but it wouldn't be up for anything like that mm-hmm. because, again, life was kind of tougher back then. Now I feel like things are kind of more sugar coated, and everything has to be acceptable for everybody and stuff like that. Because for me, when I look at that statement, what is the difference between like what she was saying and all these motivational videos that just say, get up, go and do it. All this kind of stuff. You know what they say, motivation. This is something that I could see in a motivational video. No, I agree. No, no, there, there are a lot of things you can say. Yeah, some yeah, yeah, smooth yeah, music yeah. Yeah, in the background. No excuse me. <laughs> yeah. You got 24 hours. <laughs> hours. You know what I mean? <laughs> and people watch that and people quote. I see a lot of people like retweeting and quote and quoting like all mm. of these kind of inspirational motivational yeah, yeah. like content and stuff like that 
what is the difference? Because again, I guess the diff- we don't know the person that's that's saying that. That's, yeah, I that's think, actually coming I think that's content. one of the biggest things. Like, that's what I'm thinking. Is it more the statement, or is it that people actually have a problem with the person that is actually saying? The statement? I, th- I think it's a, I think it's a mix of both. Um, I think it's a mix of both because the statement is generalized, and there's also where it's coming from. I mean. Mm. You could take all of Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King's quotes, and we could rewrite history and say Donald Trump is the one. <laughs> no, no. You know, that. <laughs> that, 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 that's all for all these. But because it's coming from him, nah, you, you're not going to take Jack. Mm, you're mm. not going to take, or maybe just 5%. That's true. Um, so I think it's a mix of both. I think just as humans, like, like someone that says, oh, they love you, but they don't show it, yeah. you know, or it's contrary from what they show or whatever. So in this case, we do judge, you know, in terms of where it's coming from, who's saying it. Yeah. Um, but the statement, I think most importantly, the statement is is, is generalized because yeah. you always find anyway, some people who are a bit contrary to what they say, but they're speaking some facts, mm. even if they're not like the most... Um, likable yeah um in that sense so i think the main issue is the statement generalized yeah um again maybe i don't think she meant it in that way maybe she did maybe she didn't but it was generalized so when you make a general statement people again you can never please everyone but when, when it's generalized people can can have more foothold to say what they want to say you know Mm. It's that's the thing. I feel like again, it's just because it was a general statement. Mm. Like that's why I feel like there's been so many different conflicting, you know, opinions and stuff like yeah. that. And again, like just relating it to other examples as well. Because again, for me, I, for, I don't know why I don't feel like I have a problem with that actual statement. Mm-hmm. Like when I just read the statement, I don't feel like I actually have a yeah, problem I with know. the statement. I don't because it's the same way that. Well, again, I, like, when I think about it, like, my brother, I'll be like, to my little brother, like, hey, you, 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 um, look at what your boy, look at the grade your boy got or something like that. Isn't yeah. he going to the same school as yeah, you? Like, yeah, 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 the yeah, same yeah. teachers teaching you. We, I feel like we all kind of make those kind of statements here yes. and there in yes, some cases. Yes, we do, we do, we do. But I feel like it's more understanding the statement rather than think. I know comparison and all that kind of stuff is not good, like, mm-hmm. in some cases, yeah. but... I don't know, man. I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's a very, especially in this era of sensitivity mm. and social media. Yeah. It's a very slippery slope, man. It is. It's a slippery it is. slope, man. It's um. very, it's very slippery. It's <laughs> very, very slippery. Uh, but from, I, I personally don't know a lot about Molly May. But yeah. when I did ask people, I don't know if you can confirm if, like, what her personality and character is like. You know, I heard that she's quite snobby, pompous, and whatnot. So I don't think so. I'm not. Do I'm, know, I don't yeah. know. You, you tell me. Because you know the way someone think, is can yeah. also give you a bit more indication. Yeah. What they mean, you know, mm. what their intention Attention. is behind what. Yeah. They're, they're so originally, that, yeah. the funny thing is, yeah. Originally, when she went on on um, Love Island, mm-hmm. she already had like a little bit of a following already. So she was already doing the influence of that kind of yeah. stuff already. Mm-hmm. Which again, for me. I will still credit the work that goes into content mm-hmm. creation. Whether the person is just making picture, is it the person has to do the content? So yeah. I credit the work that goes into that. A lot of people think it's easy. Do it then. Exactly. Yeah. But <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So she had a little bit of a following. <laughs> now on the show, it was weird because like initially, a lot of people thought like she was like again snobby and had all those kind of things. I thought the same as well. I felt like she had a, I don't know, like. She felt a little bit elitist and entitled yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. I don't know whether that's just how she is, but that's how she felt and came across. But as the show got on, like I, that kind of changed. It kind of changed. And again, even initially, a lot of people, because straight away she was into Tommy, and a lot of people were thinking that oh, it's just you know she just she knows Tommy the Fury and obviously like what comes with the Fury name kind of thing. And it's funny that they have actually been one of the longest lasting Love Island couples as mm-hmm. well. And it's also funny that, again, that in terms of, like, even within the black community, our community, like, 
she's the person that I see on Love Island or anything that anybody reposts. Everyone's reposting her. When she became the thing or pretty little thing, everyone was reposting, look at Molly made this and that. When she does the competition, because she always does like this kind of competition where if you repost it, then like you can win a house or do all of this. You know, those kind of, um, all, I don't even call these competitions, um, raffles kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, she always does those a kind house. of things. Yeah, like, I don't know if a house, maybe not a house, but yeah, something <laughs> that like, different. Yeah. Something like all those kind of things as well. Like, <laughs> and I've always seen all everybody, yeah, ladies, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and it's weird because that in even the black community, I see like all my friends on Insta, I'll be seeing them reposting and stuff like that. So I'm like, hmm, maybe she has changed her kind of appearance. A lot of people, yeah. I feel like a lot of people liked her mm-hmm. and like her as well. So I don't know why it's just so. It feels like so much just changed so quickly. Like mm. after the statement, just boom, just I don't know. Mm. I don't know, man. I mean, what do you, what do you, what do you think? And that's what I said. Like where it's coming from, the way. So are you? So, so are you me, saying yeah. that she isn't? She's partly. Let me snobby, explain my. Let me. Explain. And she's not all the way. I don't think she's snobby. I don't think that And does that snobby. play a part in how we should or how you even perceive or take what she said? So, my thing is, yeah, when I look at the actual statement, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm not looking... Okay, no, the statement, okay, yeah. yeah. I, I don't really have a problem with a statement. Yeah. Now, I kind of, and I don't have an... I don't really have a problem with the person I say it because, again, for me personally... I pick up things. I'll learn anything from anyone, like I've mentioned before. Mm-hmm. It doesn't really matter who yeah. it is, yeah. My only thing mm-hmm. is, yeah, that is she could have explained herself better. That's okay. the only thing. That's my only thing. Okay. She could have expressed herself better, kind of thing. And I feel like maybe that comes with, you know, maturity. Which by a lot of people are saying, you are happy, you are telling to be advising people. I don't really feel that's a problem. I just feel like she just didn't explain yeah, herself yeah, 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 as yeah, well yeah. as as she no, could have that's what I feel like is I don't really have a problem that she's an influencer or any of this yeah, kind of yeah, stuff yeah, that's yeah. that's like thing that if now it was I don't know Black China coming to say that I'll have more I'll have a problem because you're sick of your bum and the thing you want to tell me you're, to tell me. you're sick of your bum man you're sick of your yes man what's that what are you coming to tell me wait but you did say that you learned it from what's anyone. this one you just huh? said now I'll learn I'll, I'll learn it <laughs> but I'm not gonna like I would I would if you say something that makes sense but at, at the I'm same time, lie. okay. I okay. don't know what Black China is going to tell me. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she will teach me. I don't know. Maybe she'll tell me how to I am black. I am correctly. Or, you know, do something. But I don't know what she can teach me. No shade. No shade. <laughs> they say. But yeah, I feel like she just didn't explain herself to the best of her ability. Mm. Yeah, I, don't, I think people should just um, always, like you said, even from places like even. And the example of for me is that as a person, there's a lot of things that um, I wouldn't follow someone like Curtis 50 Cent Jackson in. Do you know there's what a, I mean? There's a lot of things that that yeah. guy is off. Uh, like, yeah. I would not follow his example in. But there are also yeah, a lot of things, you know, into the business it's side, true, his yeah. acumen, his diversity, whatever, yeah. that I appreciate and yeah. I admire about him. So, yeah. like you said, I agree definitely that you know, from any source, you can filter. Yeah. You, know, you can get, you can get the good. You can leave the bad. Yeah. Um. But I also agree that you know she, she could have explained herself. She could have explained it better. Because she if you explained it better. Yeah. Because if you're a single mom and you're listening to that, mm. and yeah, you have no help. Mm. You're work. You're working. You know, you might be working a low paid job. Yeah. Um. That's not the solution. Again, it doesn't mean obviously you can't get anything, but. If someone's telling you that, that's a bit ignorant at the same mm. time, because you're really you're, you're working. You, it's wow. true, but again, it just dep- it just all determines on how you're viewing the success. Because again, yeah, you can be a single mum, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to also be realistic with your aspirations. Yes. It doesn't mean that you're gonna be a millionaire. Yes, but if yeah. it means that okay, I'm gonna to work towards getting a house in five years, you can work towards that. You can do that. Oh, but if you okay, sit yes, down yes. and just relax and just be like, oh, these are the cards I've been dealt. Oh, man, I'm just going to stay where I am. Did she only may say it. work for people to be where I am or just generally? No, just generally. Okay. So I feel like she was just talking about just okay, to be successful. Okay. Not really to be a, not really to even be like a millionaire or anything like yeah, that. It's yeah, more yeah. to be successful. Obviously, mm. in terms of the context that she was on the show for, 
it's terms of her career now and like how she is now mm -hmm. how she's living but for me again i was viewing the statement very as like oh, just kind of at, in terms of if you want to be successful in whatever it is even if it was in a small task you've got time and there's no difference from you having that time and someone else that's trying to also get that other thing that other thing yes there are difficulties but this is life everybody no matter if you're rich or whatever you all have we all have a different difficulty oh. in one it, some may be considered more difficult than others but we all have challenges kind of thing but if you relax and say oh this is where i was born this is where i should be but look up look at where we're coming from like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of people that are like oh yeah i'm just gonna you know just go back and just end up like how everyone else has been and not going to join a gang go and do all these silly things like yeah, 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 yeah. we could have all said that we could have yeah, done that it's true but it's again true. you can also aspire to be greater mm -hmm. yeah. maybe you might not be a millionaire or billionaire but you're getting your small mm -hmm. wins mm -hmm. Whether you're getting this good job or you've got a new apartment or this or that, like there's different things that you can work towards mm. and that you shouldn't just, you know, say, oh, these are the cards and just, just dwell on the cards that you've had. Because there's uh, always going to be an excuse. Yeah, there's, no, no, no. There's always going to be an excuse for anything. I agree, I agree. Mm. Okay, well. <sighs> That's just the way I was seeing it. Yeah. Again, I'm not telling everyone can inter in, uh, yeah. interpret it in whatever way. But for me, I just saw it as, okay, you've got time. If you want to get something done, you can do it. You can be successful. You are the master of your own thing. Yeah. And yes, there are obstacles, mm -hmm. but you can still create a path where you achieve success in a certain way. Mm. The only problem is a lot of people think success is financial. That's what yes, it is. That's, that's We're not thing. all going to be millionaires. Yeah, We're no, not all going to yeah. be trillionaires. Yeah, exactly. No one's gonna be. No one else. No everyone's gonna go to the be, moon. Yeah, no everyone's <laughs> gonna go to the moon. Yeah. You can shoot for the moon. Don't mean you're gonna reach it. <laughs> no, okay. No, I, I agree. I agree. Um, so I guess in conclusion, I guess for me at least, it's just um, you. You touched on as well was the explanation mm. of the statement. Um, I was generalized. It doesn't have to be yeah. specific, but. Yeah, it could be explained um, a bit better, a bit clearer. Definitely. Uh, yeah, not to cater to people, but just so that it, it just makes more sense. Yeah. Because you could see how some people might take it. Because mm. um, hard work is not the only recipe for it's success. It's definitely not. It's yeah, not. let me make that. Let, let me just say that as well, really because not. just so no one takes me out of context as well. Yeah. Hard work is not the only recipe. I mean, we did what well, before the end of the year we talked about the role that chance kind of plays yeah, in everything yeah, as well yeah, yeah. that it's not always just mm -hmm. hard work that's going to get you to that position there's a lot of different factors mm -hmm. and variables that can also affect your level of, of success and whatever you're trying to achieve kind of thing. yeah and the person that works smart that's it. will always be ahead of the one that works hard mm. that doesn't mean that the person that works smart is not working hard yeah but they will get if I can say they're more, they're, they're, they will be more efficient. Yeah. If that makes sense. And um, if it was just hard work, then we would all be uh, a Messi or Ronaldo or uh, I mean? Bill Gates. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we all have talents. We all have opportunities. Every day yeah. you wake up is an opportunity to move, you know, one step closer to your personal goals. Mm. Um, but you need to be smart about it at the same time. Yeah. Um, Definitely need to be smart. Yeah. Work smart, not hard. But work a little bit hard, but work smart. <laughs> work, work as smart as the most. Don't wake up seven a.m. for no reason. Do you know what I mean? Don't wake up. <laughs> Don't wake up seven a.m. Man, I think oh yeah, that's it. You woke up seven a.m. Like <laughs> it's funny, uh, it, like in life when you uh, growing up, where you have that notion that you have to be up a certain time so that you're mm. not lazy. Me personally, like I would rather wake up early, but. That doesn't mean it's, anything. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. Mean anything. It's, it's, it doesn't mm. because it, it, let's say, for example, you wake up at seven and you do work till at five. That's what. Mm, that's ten hours basically. Yeah. And then someone wakes up at twelve and does work till ten. They also it's still ten hours kind of thing. Like it's not necessarily just about you think. But again, I understand why 
we've been given, especially from African backgrounds, we've been given like a lot of they're very general, generalized mm-hmm. stuff there, but we've been given these kind of resources. And I feel like it's just to kind of ensure that we have a sense of discipline and routine, like because again, imagine you just left a child to their own devices, it'll do whatever. So you have to kind of, you know, have these kind of set of rules mm-hmm. that okay, listen, you wake up early. Because me, but even on holidays, bro, my mum be waking me up at what time? I'm like, wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm on hol- I'm on break. This is vacation. <laughs> Why are you waking up? Let me sleep. Let me sleep till three pm. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, it's a good conversation to have, man. Very, very yeah. good. No, very healthy. Um, I think conversations like this are good as well, so people don't get the wrong idea. Hundred percent. And you know, can even rush the process because even with hard work comes patience. Yeah. Well, a lot of patience. Yeah. Doesn't mean also in that twenty four hours you you know, you you might reach that goal that mm. week. So yeah. Not, there's a lot of different yeah. There's a lot of it. one last thing that I just thought of as well, yeah. People know your audience, yeah. And this is not just in terms of audience of you're creating content or whatever. It could be your audience in terms of whether you're on an interview, you you're speaking to a teacher or speaking to a parent. Mm know your audience yeah and speak appropriately to your audience that's what i feel like this thing came like how the way it came out was mm. was not the way that it should have come out i don't feel like her intentions were bad or, or anything or negative like that but i just feel like she didn't really realize her audience and speak or you know the tone didn't come across you know con- well <laughs> correct for her, yeah, for yeah, her yeah. audience yeah, and the thing is yeah like i mentioned before i feel like molly may's audience is a lot you know larger than just the white female teenager and stuff like that like i mentioned before there's a lot of you know black people if you go on her followers you probably have very different girls that follow her as well that are black and different races and all that kind of stuff and again when you're speaking to that audience which again predominantly are from like lower class working class kind of backgrounds and stuff like that saying something like this is not going to sound pleasant to them because mm. they're like bruv Listen, you were living in a house. I was living in a flat with you. You were your dad had this job and all this kind of stuff. I was a dealt those same cards kind of thing. So I can understand why people felt it was a bit offensive. But again, you know, know your audience. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, hundred percent agreed. Hundred percent agreed. Well, guys, we're out. Yeah. On that note, Boris Johnson, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> you're fired. <laughs>